What up? It's Matt Man, and this is 2020, but so much cooler. Look at the swag factor on this guy. So I was browsing the workshop, and I saw this mod, and I thought it was actually insanely incredible how much work has been put into it. I had to check it out. So this is 2020, but every single character has a re-sprited version of the cool 2020. Meaning, there are literally 34 different sprites for 2020 that make you look undeniably so cool cool. <laughs> and when I saw that, I thought it was incredible. And then when I saw that the sprites represented the characters, I thought it was insanely cool. <laughs> you got things like uh, Tainted Edens is all glitchy and stuff. You see my one, Tainted Keeper. He has gold sunglasses, of course my boy does. There's flies around the Tainted Blue Baby one. It's so cool. First treasure room this time, Dry Baby. Conjoined Progress is super duper worth it here. So I was thinking to myself, wait, this is a perfect opportunity, right? Because I have not touched Tainted Keeper in uh, God knows how long, yet I do love playing the lad and i know you guys have been wanting a lot more vanilla content recently so this seems like the perfect middle ground right this is just a cosmetic 2020 but we're gonna have a regular run but it's so cool <laughs> but also we get a little bit of vanilla run with tainted keeper so we get the best of both worlds you are done for i've never been so sad in my life don't do this to me he slowly did it i i, I want to die there better not be something good in the shop i will be so <laughs> I will be seething if there's something good in here. Okay, there really wasn't. I was looking at all the sprites and I thought that the, the personality portrayed in each sprite is just like hilarious to me. It's so well crafted. Even something as simple as the Forgotten actually having two shades, one for the skeleton and the soul, is just a detail. It's just like, mwah, it's beautiful. Now we obviously don't need that butt bombs. I'm gonna risk the blind number two. Straight up, I think it's butt bombs but better, so cool. Emperor card here, we don't need this. We're gonna try and hit 50 cents so we can uh, two of diamonds ourselves, right? Tainted Jacob has one as well, which is super cool because you can actually see the regular sunglasses and like a big bulbous like scary ominous sunglass that's glowing on the other one it's so cool was there anything in here guillotine apostrophe m and pentagram pentagram's the big boy honestly um but i want to take this perther with me right how about i two it diamonds double up and we take the pentagram increasing my deal chance and overall damage uh mom's box is also huge honestly guillotine is also mega huge especially on sale huh <sighs> yeah we take guillotine here and then this act item because I do need one. Spawns bag lunch, we don't care about that too much. Okay, let's go fight the boss. I'm not sure how I'm gonna handle showing you guys all the sunglasses, right? I guess maybe I'll either just show it on screen randomly at some random point for no reason, or I'll come in post edit, we'll see. But I would like to show you guys all the sprites because they are beautiful. Tropicamide is mid. I'm For the first time ever, it's actually maybe worth it for me to come in here. It's not the case. I per throw? Ooh, conjoined? Conjoined? Did I lock in? Yeah, let's do it, dude. I literally never go first ever Devil Deals Tainted Keeper, so this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. That's right, I said it, lifetime. No one ever in the human history of Isaac has ever done this. Now, I don't believe conjoined matters too much because, yeah, as I thought, our conjoinified tiers are not multiplied through Mutant Spider or 2020, but it's still good to- ah! Oh my god, I just got, like, taken back to a year ago, dude. That was a classic. Finding Polyphemus' Tainted Keeper in the shops, like, third floor. We are for surely making it out of the basement with this one. What a god drop. Uh, Beth's Faith is also stupidly good for us. Not to mention, dude, like, yeah, I got Polly, but Dead Eye on sale PhD and Spun Progress? This just calls for a blow-up donation machine, for real. I didn't really get everything that I wanted, to be fair, but we're not gonna think about that. <laughs> All right, what about in here? Oh, we've taken a blind for sure there. I'm gonna have to explore the mirror dimension if I want the money here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. But maybe after I go to the boss? I'm a little unsure, but this is the decision I'm going with. Oh, let me open these uh, chests first, actually. Anything here? Bomba, chest, flat penny. Well, that's just an obvious pick. Okay, thank you. It doesn't really feel like I have Polly. <laughs> Is it? Like, I don't know. My tier rate feels normal. My damage seems generally high, not like Polyphemus high. It's kind of like hit a weird middle ground, which is kind of cool, I guess. I really hope there's not a good item in here. Oh, thank you. I would not have been able to afford. Instead, I get coal for free? What a Christmas present for me. Take this coin. Hermit, we don't need that, do we? Uh, I'd rather have the death card for an emergency. Dead Eye is a big man pickup here. I might be able to get two more cents and get that PhD. And I may be able to get that speedball, but that one's kind of a stretch. We'll see. 
Oh, why is there Flip just chilling in the curse room? Okay, that is obvious number one priority, right? Oh, broken glasses trinket plus I have mom's box. Wait, this means I get to see every single blind item on the alternate floor. Why did I start pronouncing my T's? That's insane for us. We got to take that. Absolutely. Final fight. This wormwood does not exist in this realm. You are going to die. <laughs> Marbles is broken. This will solve my uh, broken glasses issue. Wow, I wish I sold it even earlier. I really want that dice bag. I may be able to proc it, but for now, I just want to get more money. Oh, wait, I won't be able to keep Mom's box for the 100% proc, will I? I'm taking flip, and there's no way I don't take flip. Hmm. Well, I'll take this. I need to see if there's a way I can gulp this thing. Hold on. Oh, there's no way, actually, right? Because I, uh, I'm full-on mantle ghost now. Well, I think I can actually make an educated best decision here. Considering you have no bombs, I don't actually think there's a point in me even running the broken glasses, right? So how about we just go dice bag and go to regular floors? This is probably the best solution to my problems. Now it's time to take a look at some of these sunglasses. These are Isaac's versions of the sunglasses. They're actually really cool because I think a majority of them are kind of translucent as you can see right here. You can see Isaac's face through it. We have Maggie's right here, nice and bright red to represent just how much love she provides with her yum heart. This one is... <laughs> This was pretty funny, right? Like, I don't need to explain why this one's pretty funny. Wait, I wonder, if I pick this up, is it is it literally, like, that way because it, it, it's only gonna show up on one side? <laughs> Wait, that's sick. I love this. Judas is rocking the cool tint of orange. Orange is actually one of my favorite colors, so I really appreciate this one. This one's kind of unique too, right? It's got little flies around it, and I really like the uh, color they chose for it. It's not exactly blue. It's more of a purplish, but it kind of fits somehow. I don't know why. It just makes sense to me. Is it also translucent? It also is. Eve's sunglasses are also pretty interesting. They've got a little bit of a blood stain on them, and they actually show up on the sprite as well. Actually so detailed. It's insane. These ones are Samson's with a little bit of a streak mark on it like they got broken right bro is a little bit mad and angry i can see that happening azazel's up next and he decided to rock the ray bands i know nothing about glasses whatsoever but he does look stylish so you know that's all that matters right well look at that if you go upwards you can see that they're actually different colored on the top interesting lazarus is dripped out but he dripped a little bit of blood on top of him because he likes to bleed right but hey you know what that's okay I used an Eden token for this one, and if you're wondering what I received, I cut wooden spoons, so it wasn't that good. Uh, but Eden's one is also pretty awesome. I think the Lost sunglasses might just be S tier. These are probably one of my favorites. Are they also translucent? Whoa, I just re- I saw that. Hold on. When you pick it up, the item itself is also translucent, not- not just the sprite. Wait, what? That's sick. <laughs> No way, Lilith gets to have two. Give it to the Incubus, I swear, please. No? Oh, man, I was so excited. Oh, well, at least the spread's cool, right? Two little sunglasses. Just imagine it work. So can you really see through the item? What? What is that? I is there a single item in Isaac that does that? I don't think so, right? Not a single Isaac item is trans- Oh, you know, there probably is. I'm just not thinking of it. 732 items in the entire game is a lot to take care of, but whatever. Keeper is balling out currently. Whoa. Apoleon W? The first one seen in years? Wait, this purple is sick. It's the perfect purple in my opinion. Whoa. I can't believe I'm unironically drip-checking Isaac characters currently. What has my life become? Also, by the way, this sunglass is perfect. Jacob and Isar are also a couple of unique ones they get the double sunglasses just like the forgotten right but unfortunately just jacob gets access to the sunglasses or i guess esau if he gave it to him because they're still bickering and they hate each other i know i also showed the forgotten in the video already but i wanted to showcase this off this actually does work the forgotten has sunglasses like this but if you go soul mode my man is stylistic I think that should be everything with all the base vanilla characters. I'll come back with the Tainteds and any other extra costumes that I can find. Ooh. All right, I think it's time. Stop getting my funny up and it's time to start getting my money up. D8, do I risk it? In what world do I not? Holy my damage. <laughs> I'm never touching D8 again, what? All right, well, we got the keys necessary. What are we doing? 
We got flip ready. We get finger. 100% worth. Boom. Take you. Tears ups are always good on Tainted Keeper. And then we have a shop as well with, oh my god goodness botfly diplopia what how do i want to handle this the only thing i really care about is diplopia right libra would be super cool with a specific build i think it would work well then i could diplopia everything else okay i have an idea i need two more cents i think the answer is clear here and there's a proper way to handle this let's do it firstly let's take care of the boss just so we can weigh our options right and make sure we are making the correct decision here Get this money that I do actually need. Oh, see? Now I got a devil deal to think about. I guess I might as well try and roll this because I don't really care about it. Ugh. Oh, don't! All right. Uh, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I thought I had a plan, uh, but not anymore. Well, what can you do? I can't even flip this, can I? Man, all right. Well, that's okay. I already had conjoined, right? And Guppy is uh, kind of a long shot. I don't have the money for it. See, what I wanted to do was uh, buy Libra and then flip to Diplopia and then Diplopia everything. But you give me a twisted pair, that's just the best decision, right? No bombs, no nothing, right? I can buy flip, it wouldn't do anything. I guess I could buy uh, the card reading. That wouldn't be too bad. It's not really the biggest deal on Earth now that I give it a second thought. I, I don't actually care that much, right? The biggest thing we're missing out on is bot flight, which is, you know, it's okay. So, uh, buy this, maybe get something good, retro vision no and we'll go okay that's fine i'm actually happy with that so i'd like to think taking card reading was pretty smart which i think it is because we get access to the treasure room with one hp which is going to give us our health back which is beautiful and that's basically the only thing i care about the fact that we're alive <laughs> what does this flip into i literally can't see oh! well i just landed ourselves a psi fly so who the hell cares about bot fly <laughs> No offense to Botfly stands out there, I understand. He is crazy good, but there's no denying the difference in power between those two. I swear, dude, Tinted Keeper is just a luckier character. What the hell is going on? Twisted Pear Polly? <laughs> I know you're just gonna give me a free Psyfly. Thank you very much. Huh. Today I learned uh, that you can change key blocks into something with D12. I was trying to turn them into poops. I didn't know if it would work. I was just kind of experimenting. But hey, now we learned. Oh, sack room? Ah, that's kind of beautiful as Tainted Keeper, right? I'm going to need some money on the ground, not the stuff that disappears, though. Not the fake stuff, the real stuff. I need the good stuff. If we're able to obtain it is unknown to me, but I will definitely strive for it. Hmm. Let me think about my estate and liquidate my capital. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Let me take this and then we'll take you and then flip. Perfect, there we go. And then the rest of these, I don't care about too much. We won't be able to afford Torn Photo, but I mean, Torn Photo and Sad on your are the exact same tier rate up. So it really doesn't matter. And then uh, I think we're good to go. All right, well, I don't want to go top left. Obviously it is uh, Depth's Dose and I don't want to fight mom right away. But what about this treasure room? Plum flew into Leo. Ugh. We all kind of agree that's kind of whatever, right? Don't get me wrong, I'm not going to scoff at a, a freebie item, but eh, I could probably go for a bit more. An arcade in here, but no crane game. But I did land golden bombs just a bit ago. So we could blow you up at least. Secure our devil chance, and I'm just going to blow everyone up actually. I don't need a B here, I don't need none of you. Give me this I found pills. Every single time the DH shows up in the bottom right of my corner, I like my ring finger lifts seven feet into the air, and I'm, I make sure that I am not pressing Q. <laughs> Doing everything in my power to not press the Q button whenever that thing shows up. I will not be losing my massive multiplier for damage. Ooh, these are good though. Oh my god, member card? Smelter too. Wait, these are kind of sick. I think I just straight up go for this, right? I take you, I take the twos up. It's actually uh, matters a lot. Mom's eyeshadow, we flip. And then by doing this, we can smelt the U. And then we can even Mama Mega, right? And then Mama Mega will actually give us boss rush really later. Wow, things are working out. In fact, I had a golden bomb. I can Mama Mega again. Do I want to? <laughs> Is there like a point? I don't think so. Oh my god, Jesus, relax. Take the keeper. What, what are you doing? Is that birthright? I need 20 cents immediately. I don't think there's a point for me to run another Mama Mega, is there? I could take it to the next floor, but I'd be abandoning Flip. Flip at least has some kind of use, maybe in the future. I could still find pedestals, so I suppose not. If, if you don't know about that interaction, by the way, if you have a golden bomb on a floor and wow, you're dead, so sorry. <laughs> and you have a Mama Mega on the floor, uh, the bomb will delete itself, the golden one, and you just get two free uses of Mama Mega instead of just one. Oh, wow, there's a luck up in there. Nice, thank you. My luck is kind of minuscule. I have not gotten any luck ups, right? So anything will really help here. Judgment, do I blow you up for more money? That works for me. Super secret in here. That's just gonna give me more money. Okay, let's go back and buy the items that we left behind, right? So let's go down here, and then we can probably do something along the lines of 
by you and then okay. use you. We'll take you just because we can. Does that delete the purse? Wait, what? Wait, what? Oh no, they're still there. Oh my god, I freaked out. I was like, that is not how the Binding of Isaac works. How dare you, sir? <laughs> Uh, give me the birthright, thank you. Mom's purse is great, we need extra trinket room. And we can get some extra money from this. One cent, I've, uh, okay, move on. Sorry, what? <laughs> One cent? Okay, dude. And then we take the charged key coming up. We'll have enough money for maybe a potential Gonga Devil Deal item, which we will probably be receiving because of my 95% deal chance. Things are just cooking. I think we're sitting really pretty right now. My god! <laughs> Uh, oh, here's the thing though. I can't go to boss search if I want to check the devil, huh? Ugh. I suppose also the devil room could stay open. Boss rush is guaranteed to close. So that is by definition, like mathematically, the better decision, right? We get D8 and Notch Axe as well as Linger Bean. <laughs> And Mega Bean? I don't even know where- Wait, there's a D6! Oh my goodness me, what? I didn't notice. <laughs> Give it, D6, what? Okay, now we can roll flip over and over again until we get an item we want. Uh, Apple might be it, but it's luck based and my luck kind of sucks, so I'm gonna move on actually. Roll again, Lodestone. Now that one's really, really stupidly good to be fair. Uh, I just feel like the risk is not worth it to go for more. That's too greedy, even for me. Let's take it. Now the next best case scenario, which so far we've actually been hitting a lot of best case scenarios. Every single time I find myself in some kind of pickle, it seems like we got the perfect escape and the perfect route to get out. So if it wants to continue that trend, when I get out of this boss challenge room, the devil room would have stayed open. In which we get to roll it, maybe? Ooh. Feels good to have just a regular vanilla good tier run as well, right? Coins being attracted towards me due to birthright, massive damage, just no problems in the world. All right, Gertie is done, Fischl is done, and we receive conjoined. Not worth, I would actually rather just risk this. It didn't stay open, but I don't regret my decision whatsoever, right? I'd say it's more important to save a potential roll for a potential devil than reroll that conjoined progress, like whoop de doo right? Now if I spawn an item in here, oh, that would have been sick. No thanks though, I don't need none of these. Oh well, oh my god, wait, tears up? Bad trip, I'm now 1 HP, and I don't know where I am. We have access to suction, magnetizing coins. We cannot miss a single one. It's actually impressive if I manage to do that. Blood Bank, you're asking me to give away my entire life for money. This says a lot about society. And I don't know if I want to participate. World's longest Larry Jr.? What? <laughs> He's got- Whoa! Look at that! It's so satisfying, actually. What? That was genuinely sick where did that larry jr come from and what was bro eating my lord bro did more than just use protein powder <laughs> how did i manage 0 0.99 speed <laughs> like how did what excuse me what item in the game is the 0 0.01 speed down <laughs> not sure how i feel about the changes to polyphemus by giving it a 0 0.01 speed down but you know that's just how it is i suppose oh reverse card i actually need to bomb this out because the nickel's in the way there you go, what is this thing? Hermit. Oh, there you go. I could use this for more money. Uh, it's not really something I need, but I'll keep it in mind. Another boss here, Mama Gertie. We still need Womb 2 as well. We'll take you for spun and damage and- ah! So beautiful. Oh my god, what a textbook god run. <laughs> An actual textbook Binding of Isaac run. In fact, we get to straight away fight It Lives. Completely beautiful. What a speed run too. Straight to the secret room with you. I spawn an item. Unfortunately, I'm blind. That sucks, but I'm right next to the boss. What is this luck? <laughs> I just get to roam wherever I want and get freebies? Okay, I'll take it. Okay, well, there's no way to know. So, boop, eternal D6. I'm not gonna risk it. I might as well just get a regular D6 charge and do it again. There's a, uh, what is this room? What? <laughs> That's weird. Wait, what? Excuse me? That a weirdo type room? Did I delete a hole? Was that possible? Wait, I wanna go back! I deleted a hole? No, there were three! I must be insane, I don't know. I've never deleted a hole. I don't think that's possible. There was three, right? Not two. Anyway, yeah, I'm trying to roll the Eternal D6 because it's better to get the guaranteed roll than uh, risk the Eternal. Here we go again! Ooh, we need to go deeper. Somehow, it's actually still another active item. Yeah, I'm happy there's a blind on this floor and not the next one at least, right? Oh, what could this be? Probably HP, right? Yeah, we all know beggars. That's just how it is. I saw all those pills lined up in an anti-Christ-like symbol. I saw that right there. Look at that. What did Binding of Isaac mean by this? I wonder. 
Well, this should be absolutely no problem. It's been a while since I've brimstone blasted your ass, Satan, but see you later, bozo. Instantaneous kill. Only 20 base damage, and I haven't even been hit. And yet, it seems like my damage is just so high. It's fit check time, ladies and gentlemen, and starting us off, we have Tainted Isaac with these baller sunglasses, which are uh, a little bit purple because, you know, my man is a little bruised. Poor guy. Tainted Maggie's looks similar to Magdalene's, except it has a little bit more blood splots on it. Tainted Kane actually continues the trend of having only one sunglass, but the other one's kind of bleeding now. Is not very happy to see this, though. Unfortunately. <laughs> I kind of like the little star in Tainted Judas's sunglasses, right? Because it makes him kind of look like an anime villain, which is uh, kind of what this guy's all about. Whoa, his sunglasses look weird. Cool. Okay, Tainted Eve's one is actually like genuinely adorable. You can see the clot right there trying to peek through. <laughs> it's cute. Oh, it's actually on the sunglasses. What? That's so cool. Tainted Samson actually has a question mark for sunglasses. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sorry, I loaded into blind. Here's his actual thing. He looks pretty cool as well. Whoa, it's actually kind of broken. Look. Nice. The thin brimstone man is here and it looks like he has something similar to uh, Tainted Samson where he has broken glasses and more blood on top of that. Now Tainted Lazarus is a special case. This is going to be base Lazarus right here. Blue with a, a little tinge of blood on there. But really cool, if you flip you actually get a red version of it. This is uh, Tainted Lazarus' flipped version. Nice. We got the fragile cobweb man here and here to stay and he definitely delivers. He even has cobwebs on his sunglasses. This one's a pretty cool detail as well, right? Because Lilith does not actually shoot or rather tainted Lilith. It's all the fetus. So uh, the fetus just goes out instead. There's only one sunglass. Weirdly enough though, the fetus doesn't get sunglasses. I just get invisible ones on my face. Apollyon's red sunglasses look actually baller along with the red flies. And finally, we have tainted Bethany. Beautiful looking purple with a bunch of purple wisps surrounding it. Very nice. Playing like a nutcase. Perfection received. Tainted Keeper's going off right now. Damocles. Oh, I'm doing it. I don't care, dude. 100%. Guppy's tail as well. I could 100% became Guppy. Oh, well. We popped the demo. We re-rolled these guys. Um, this is Seraphim, which wouldn't matter. But yeah, no, we should just take that for no reason. We'll take the small damage down and go to the secret room. Now, I can't be hit whatsoever, which I, yeah, I have been doing pretty well so far, considering I'm broken. And I have perfection to prove it, right? And I trust Damocles now. Uh, there's been times before in the past where they would insta-fall down on me, but no longer, I think. We've settled our differences, and I can go an entire run without Damocles falling. I've literally done it recently. So let's just run around and find our rerolls, and find the best items that we can to complete this run the best that we can. Uh, Peeper, yeah, you know what, it's a pacify. Then we can roll you, Thunder Thighs, don't want that. I need to make sure that we do not get hit as much as possible, right? Not only for Damocles, but the perfection is important too. We're combining it with Guppy's tail, and it is allowing us to get so many more chests than we probably should be. It's at this point where the D4 shows up twice in a row, where I have to question for myself, do I want to do it? I kind of don't, to be honest with you. I'm really happy with the perfection guppy's tail thing we have going on. However, if I do lose that, oh yeah, I'll, I'll roll. With so many items spawning, it's just, it's not comparable. I have to run the guppy's tail, it's too strong. Random cross space here with a pointy rib, I'll take it, thank you. Stupid amount of chests, actually. Wait, wait a second, that's golden razor, right? Hold on, I'm tainted keeper. I'm gonna take this golden razor at the very, very end, and I'm gonna spam it as much as possible on the lamb. And we're just gonna see how much damage I can get. Whoops, butt bombs, why'd you do that to me? Unless I die to Damocles in two seconds. <laughs> I am not afraid at all. Not one bit. <laughs> well, now that we did lose perfection, I would be happy to uh, completely roll my build if it did show up again, like a D100 or something or a D4. I don't think it's gonna happen though. Ooh, more chests. Wait, this is a secret room reroll. Oh my god, it is. Wait, I got an item in here. Death certificate. Ah, oh, almost. Let me roll this, and that'll probably be our last thing. Oh, wait, I can't? Well, I guess I could fight the lamb and do it. But if I fight the lamb and do it, then I won't be able to see my maximum amount of damage through Golden Razor. Uh, you know what? Let's roll. Let's do the roll instead. I'm gonna die, actually. It doesn't matter. <laughs> just die real quick. Just really quickly. I'm sorry, lamb. I just, I gotta get this over with. I'm not gonna make it dramatic at all. I'm just gonna kill you really quickly. Let me go roll that. Oh, raw liver. Well, of all the things that could have shown up, I uh, did not expect you. <laughs> Pretty sure that's it, right? Unfortunately for me, I do not get to see the other six shades until, you know, you guys get to see it. But you guys get to see everything, so don't even worry about it. I hope the shades look cool for you. GG!